So yesterday, the weatherman said that today was going to be wet, windy and horrible. This morning he's changed his mind. Strange that. Morning world and welcome to Tuesday 11th of April and back to work. So it's not been a bad weekend. The weather's been, you know, reasonable. Uh, didn't get a lot done because we spent time with the family. Hello mate, you all right? Is that you making all that racket out here? Is it, eh? Is it you? Have you shut yourself in or something stupid? Is that what it's about? It always makes you wonder when there's, when there's one in by itself. What have they done? Yep, shut yourself in. How? I couldn't tell you. That's clever, that. All right, you can go again now. I've opened the gate, you can go now. Oh, stop being stupid. Go on, out. I'm not getting too close to the back legs because I've already been kicked once and it bloody hurt. So, and if she's a bit stressed out. Oh, ah yeah, gate's open, there we go. Yeehaw. Telling everybody else, nobody else cares. Yeah, you're gonna have to go to them, mate. So, that was the problem. Somehow or other, they've managed to get the chain undone, and I think it's probably because the little locking spring tab that goes in there, well, it's gone. So they could. Anyway, I put it behind the gate now. Hopefully, they won't reach it. That's tight. They're all happy. Anyway, there's not an awful lot to do in here. The yard could, well, I could come and scrape the yard up, but to be honest, it's really not that bad. It's not wet, which is a surprise. I thought this morning it was gonna be, well, according to the weatherman, swimming. It didn't. Uh, so the tree team would be in shortly. I've already got their day organized for them. And Dave and Dave are back today to make a start back on the veranda. I think we're into, I don't know if we're rendering walls today or if we're knocking the step out and starting the process of putting the floor in down. One or two of you asked what sort of floor, were we gonna concrete it or were we gonna put a timber uh, decking down? Neither. We're gonna put it down to um, hand cut slabs. Uh, it is, well, I don't know, decking's expensive. Um, hand cut slabs will be more expensive, but they will last a lot longer, look a lot nicer, and well, that's what I want to do, because that's what we're having. Uh, where do they put them? Oh, there they are. There they are. Yeah. You camera shy? Yeah. Are you? You're going to be on the interweb. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, oh, I'm, not, I'm not camera's cream egg shy. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Here, shy. Oh, no, Is this the one that I left the other day? No, I, I ate that one. Ah. Yeah, I ate that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, spark is here, putting the electrics in. So, we'll have light. Uh, these, these. These are the tree guys. You on? 
just in case we wouldn't want you to miss out. Sorry? Being sort of being at your social, I wouldn't want you to miss out. Cream eggs. Why have you got cream eggs for? So one, of, yeah, one, of, oh, yeah. one of our subs sent them in for him. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, enjoy. See, that boy, mate, look. Mmm, cream eggs. Oh, look at people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, you could have all of them. <laughs> all right, I'll leave you to it. I'll go and get some timber. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'd like to tell you about all the really fantastic and exciting things that have happened on the farm today. But I can't, because as far as the farm's concerned, it's rained. It was nice to begin with, but come midday, it rained. So in all honesty, nothing exciting has happened on the farm today at all. The most exciting thing I've done today is go to Morton C. Cullimore and buy some sand because I always like going to Morton C. Cullimore and that's got nothing to do with the product, it's got everything to do with the staff and anybody who works there will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's... I like it there. Uh, and then we went to Dennis Brown's in Woodchester and we bought some clothes board and that was quite nice going there as well. The only downside of going both places is they cost me a lot of money. But uh, what else has happened today? Oh, yeah. So, as you know, the electrician's been. So, we now have lights. Lights, little lights on the inside and the big strip lights up, which I may show you later on when it's a bit darker because it's a bit pointless now. And new security light out there. I haven't done a CCTV yet. That's next on the list. But we did add, we have added something to the mix. So we've got power points. These will be partially hidden by um, that cladding. But we've got another cable there. And that is going to be infrared heat lamps for people. Um, so the only problem I got with that really is uh, my daughters have already called this the smoking room, the smoking shelter, or whatever else. And I got a horrible feeling that they're going to be out here in all wind and weather, puffing on those filthy cancer sticks and burning my electricity to keep warm with that. So I might have to just flick the switch inside and, and stop that. So, uh, yeah, so to be honest, today's video is short, it's sweet. There is very little to tell you um, because very little. Very little has gone on that I can share with you. But I will say, Scott, thank you very much for the Cabra's Cream Eggs. Everybody here has appreciate those. And also thank you. And the name's gone out of my head. I'll have to put the note up here if I can find it. For the second lot of Cabra's Cream Eggs, which I've given to the lads. So the tree team. So they've had them. And as far as I'm aware, those 10 eggs between the three blokes, gone. All of them, today, gone. Right, on that note, I think I'm going to go and light the log burner. It's, it's not improved very much out there. It's absolutely blooming piddling down. But... Before it gets too late and I finish editing this video, I suppose I could show you a bit of what we've done with electrics. Bearing in mind, this is all gonna be covered in with timber cladding, that timber cladding. So, yeah, first off, <coughs> this is what I thought we'd do as our subtle lighting. Okay, so if we're out here in the evening, I'm gonna come out again later on when it's dark and look at this again, but I think this would be just enough subtle lighting if we want to sit out here and not be blinded by the light. But if we don't mind being blinded and we actually want to see what we're doing down here, then I got a couple more switches. I got this one and 
this one. Now it's positively daylight out here. So, yeah, now <laughs> we can play cards or we can read a map or a book or, or whatever we want to do. I won't use these very often. No, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. I think that's the lights we'll use most. They're going to be sort of quite attractive and just no light pollution, no light going out past there really. So apart from another one of those that we've stuck out on the end out there to light up this part of the, of the yard. I've got to go out in that now. You can't come with me because that camera does not let it rain. So, and I've left my raincoat in my van and I've lent my van to Mikey. I'm going to get wet. It's coming in worse. I'm going to go now. Yeah, cattle are in. I think the best idea is shut them in. Staying in there. All right, all right, all right. Come on, anyway. Anyway, you better have a bail too, aren't you? Well, your backs. That really chucked it down. Seriously, seriously threw it. All right, you can have it back in a minute. So I'm just looking at the poo in there, and it is green. Because of course, maybe they're on grass, but bale of hay will firm them up a bit. Look at it. It is pouring down the yard. me a couple of hours ago let me know that he'd um, put liquid nitrogen on our wheat so that was done and he's also done my grass so I just hope this doesn't wash it all off not only is the poo green you can smell the difference <laughs> hay poo smells different to fresh green grass poo. Definitely got a different nose about it. It looks like my weather window's got a hold for another five, ten minutes. I may have timed that just right.
All right, all right, all right, all right. That shut you up, didn't it? Noisy. Right, they're not going to be happy about being shut back in again. But that gateway is like a little pudding. So, all right, mind your backs. Oh. At least their bed is dry. Oh, hang on a minute. That's better. So, they've not been coming in here since I gave them a fresh bed, was it two days ago? They've not really been in. So, they do at least have somewhere dry and clean to lie down. It won't look like that in the morning. Tomorrow, it'll be wet and dirty. So like I was saying earlier, when it was chucking down, another one of these lights, this is a, this is not PIR, this is Photocell. So this is what we use all in the farm. Um, although for some reason that one over there hasn't come on yet. I wonder if they turned that off. Oh, maybe that's why. That's why. Um, this has uh, got a light sensor at the top there. If I cover that over, any second now, the light comes on. Uncover it. If there's, if there's enough light left, it'll go off again. So basically, these lights come on at night. They stay on all night. It's only about 10 watts, I think that is. Um, but yeah, in the morning, when the sun comes up over there, that'll go out again. I prefer Photocell to PIR. Um, PIRs... Uh, can be stressful because fox can turn it on, roe deer can turn it on, muntjac can turn it on, a badger can turn it on, anything can turn a PIR on, they just flick it on and on and on and off. And if you see your lights flashing at night, you're wondering, is there someone around? Is there someone out there? And you end up getting out your chair and going having a look. Whereas with these guys, they're just on all night. Um, and that just means that from my bedroom window up there, all this area is lit up. Um, it uh, remains to be seen how far down the yard I'll be able to see, but I'm pretty sure with the other lights I've got down there, that added, that fella over there is on simply because it's in more shade. It hasn't got as much light as this photo photocell. Um, yeah, it's just, photocell I think is the way to go with security. It's far better than PIR, far better, in my humble opinion. So, okay. Um, I might come out again later on and show you this when it's dark behind because I've not seen it yet. But yeah, so good night, you guys. Just for another example, that's the that's the option. Really, really bright, quite bright, not bright, and subtle.